Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this Halloween day, October 31st, 2023, about 12 17 p.m. California time here. Uh, latest activity looks like a 2.5 coming into the West Coast area. That's going to be this up, uh, this earthquake up here. Looks like it is on the Nevada side here of the border. 2.5 latest earthquake there on the map. We did have some uh, large earthquake activity striking overnight, including, well, pretty deep 6.5 here uh, outside the Fiji region. This is the northern edge of the Tonga Trench. It's a pretty big earthquake there, 6.5, 550 kilometers deep. I also did see some movement over here uh, across the, uh, well, eastern area here of the um, Nazca Plate, right up against the uh, South America region. 6.6 .6 there in Chile, around the Peru-Chile Trench, 35 kilometers deep. We have been seeing a little bit of deeper scale movement here uh, over the last few days. It looks like there was definitely enough strain built up there uh, towards the subduction zone to create that uh, earthquake. 6.6 .6 coming in about 5 o'clock this morning, my time. Uh, so definitely seeing some uh, larger scale activity. Also further west here, uh, in Iran, we did see an earthquake coming in this morning as well, 5.0, along with a handful of earthquakes here across this area from yesterday up into China. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, I don't think we've seen too much down here in New Zealand. Let's see what we got uh, on the globe. Not a whole lot showing up here. This is from old, uh, some older movement from uh, last night. Uh, looking at the globe, still seeing quite a bit of clustering going on here. I expect this to pick up following this larger scale deep movement uh, from this morning. I should amplify conditions here across this plate boundary. Um, let's see, right now we do have a 5.0 and a 5.2. So some movement uh, happening following this deeper scale activity this morning. But continue to keep an eye uh, on this area right around here, the Solomon Islands area along that plate boundary. Should see some activity here soon. Up into Alaska, looks like a typical day up there. Some movement there across the Aleutian Trench, nothing big going on though. Uh, into the Pacific Northwest, let's see what we got here in Yellowstone. A little bit of activity stirring up here this morning it looks like, and late last night. Let's go ahead and jump in to the... Yellowstone thumbnails, which is the Yellowstone overview. Uh, some of these signatures that you're seeing right here are going to be from the earthquakes. Uh, this is that six pointer there in Fiji, and then this is the one uh, six pointer down in South America. So those are distant signatures there from those large earthquakes. Far as localized activity, <clears throat> now we did see something stir up last night uh, just for a couple hours, some very small microquake activity here uh, again that was late last night and usgs is reporting some of it there uh, looks like some ones coming up into the area of yellowstone just outside of yellowstone lake it's gonna be these earthquakes right here all right uh, back to the pacific northwest here still seeing some activity around mount st helens and mount rainier uh, nothing too crazy going on uh, there is the latest image of Mount St. Helens. Looks like some cloud cover up there. Still some snow. Looks like there's some fresh snow there on the uh, Mount St. Helens volcano. <clears throat> this is a temporary webcam that they set up facing the volcano, which is pretty cool. Looks pretty neat. Uh, keep an eye on this area. All right, uh, one earthquake or maybe a couple down here. Southern edge of Mount Hood, 2.6. Wouldn't that be something if all these volcanoes start really stirring up? Never know. It does have a lot to do with the subduction zone here, the Cascadia subduction zone. Way below the surface area. Could be uh, <clears throat> sending quite a bit of magma up to the, uh, the volcanoes here along the Cascades. All right. Back to normal, I hope. All right. Uh, what else we got here across the West Coast region? Let's see, a little bit of activity. There's that movement there in Nevada. Nothing too busy going on there in, in Northern Cal. Uh, further down south, doesn't look like we're seeing too much activity stirring up here. One little earthquake in the uh, Huntington Park area uh, around the Los Angeles area, 2.0, 14 kilometers deep. Aside from that, 
General movement here across the San Jacinto Fault Zone. The San Andreas Fault remains quiet for now. Texas, seeing some movement out in the oil fields once again, over around Pecos and outside of San Antonio, uh, near Pleasanton, Texas. A couple earthquakes out there in these uh, oil fields. You can see all the names out there of the gas and oil fields in this vicinity, or well, within the vicinity of this area. All right, uh, what else we got? Jumping all over the place here. Uh, what was this earthquake here? Let's see. This was a pretty deep one this morning. Look at that. So this is a really good explanation here of how um, these deeper quakes can trigger the surface adjustment uh, where the strain most likely um, builds up here along the subduction zone. This 4.8 was literally uh, about 13 minutes prior to the deeper activity. So... And this one here, the deep activity, 550 kilometers here into the subduction zone. Uh, that added strain right in this area. Oh, well, I guess it, maybe it's probably been building up there for a little bit to create this more surface, uh, this shallower earthquake here along the subduction zone at 6.6. .6. Literally 13 minutes within each other. Deeper, followed up by the uh, larger scale activity upstream. We see that, <coughs> we see that quite often, actually, in... Uh, subduction zones all right uh, what else we got here uh, let's see not a whole lot going on today across the western Pacific here uh, one earthquake from yesterday off the coast of Japan and also there uh, around Guam a couple smaller quakes And let's see what else we got. Uh, aside from that, the Atlantic looks pretty quiet, so, except for one earthquake down here. 5.0 from yesterday. Let's check out space weather real quick and see what's going on here. Hopefully I'm not coming down with a cold. That would not be good. I'm going out trick-or-treating anyway. Well, I'm not going out trick-or-treating, but I'm going with the kids. Uh, space weather activity, pretty calm for the most part. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of flaring activity here for this beautiful Halloween far as sunspot activity, we have been watching 3474. Uh, that's an older image there from last night or yesterday. The most recent image. Wow, shows it. Uh, is that that same sunspot? Did it really jump that far? I guess it did. This is, yeah, rather old image. So here it is over here now. Still fairly complex. Got a uh, beta gamma class uh, magnetic structure here in this sunspot region that does harbor some potential uh, for some flaring i want to keep an eye on this maybe for some inflares also a new little developing sunspot behind it and the ones up here on the northern hemisphere of the sun uh, looks like they're kind of gaining a little bit of steam as well not quite as complex as this uh, sunspot region down here but we'll continue to watch that and uh, looks like maybe some newer regions around the eastern limb of the sun that we'll have to keep an eye on. Right now, overall threat, 70% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, and X flare around 5% chance. Uh, there's those uh, couple sunspots with a complex structure within their magnetic core, 3473 and 3474, both harboring a uh, beta gamma class structure. Not a whole lot of auroras expected. Here in the next few nights, pretty quiet conditions there across the board. Uh, let's see, what do we got for weather? I know it's not too active today. Well, let's see. Looks like areas around the, the Great Lakes uh, seeing some potential for thunderstorm activity. That's about it. Aside from that, uh, very minimal hazards out there today in terms of the, uh, the uh, severe weather threat. A look at the live seismograph stations here uh, show fairly calm conditions. Not a whole lot of activity stirring up here across the area. All right, well, we'll see what happens uh, today following this larger scale movement. I mean, two earthquakes, it's quite a, quite a bit. Uh, first one was at 6.5 in Fiji. That was followed up an hour and a half later by uh, this earthquake over here. In South America for that 6.6 .6. again couple areas to watch definitely in this area around the Solomon Islands 
Uh, watch for some movement here. Some adjustments should kick up in this area. A quick look here at the Big Island of Hawaii uh, and the earthquake activity around the Kilauea Volcano. <clears throat> Losing my voice here. A couple twos and some ones is the, uh, the story today. Not a whole lot of uh, newer activity. The latest informational statement shows that it is not erupting. Uh, we'll continue to watch this, though. We see the little decrease in earthquake activity here in the past 24 hours. Let's go ahead and check out the inflation or deflation. We'll see what's going on there across that volcano today. Uh, UWE. Well, it looks like uh, we're holding steady. As far as the uh, inflation goes, this is the past two days. A little bit of inflation. Uh, looks like we're starting to level out here right now. Um, the overall trend, though, obviously still shows some inflation happening there at the um, the summit area, just south of the um, the uh, summit region uh, of the uh, Kilauea volcano. This is the past 30 days, so I'm showing uh, still that inflation going up. We'll continue to watch that. I'm sure it's going to get active here. In the future, just a matter of um, how much uh, more strain this area is going to accumulate before seeing uh, the uh, fissures potentially open up here around this area. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have a good day. Halloween, uh, we'll be trick-or-treating, so we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight with the uh, Halloween update. Take care, folks. Enjoy your day, and please stay safe out there.